from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. Tracking your money now among the billions of dollars allocated in the New York State budget. Millions are now set aside to bring back the Florida State Guard. It's now seeking new recruits after a decades long hiatus following World War II. Governor Ron DeSantis officially signed the civilian force back into existence on Thursday. The state is dedicating $10 million to research start this program with 400 positions. Its goal, helping the National Guard during emergencies like hurricanes or other disasters. Now to the multiple mass shootings in this country and calls for gun control. Many Americans taking to the streets on Friday for National Gun Violence Awareness Month and day rather. This as funerals continue for the 21 victims in the Uvalde school massacre. 90% of Americans support some type of gun legislation and it's up to Congress to make change on the national level. The U.S. government reports 390,000 jobs were added in May. While the number of jobs added was down from April's total, it was better than many were forecasting. Meanwhile, the unemployment rate remained at 3.6 percent. That's slightly higher than the half-century low recorded in February of 2020 before the pandemic hit. And now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with Florida's most accurate forecast. Dennis? How you doing, everybody? Still tracking the system out in the Gulf with tropical storm warnings in effect for South Florida in through part of the Bay Area. The Bay Area is not going to have to deal with wind and really not that much rain anywhere from I-4 North. Southern counties, Highlands, Sarasota County, Hardy, DeSoto will have some heavier rains overnight, but the bulk of the rain will be down between Fort Myers and Naples. You can kind of see that's where everything has been popping over the last several hours, and that continues right on through tomorrow morning. I actually think by the afternoon hours, we start to clear out, and then by Sunday, we're mostly sunny. So the weekend will not be that bad of a weekend in spite of some very heavy rainfall totals south of our viewing area. Some scattered storms around throughout all of next week, typical summertime stuff. So Florida's most accurate seven day rain around the area overnight through the morning hours south of I-4. You live north of I-4. I don't think you're going to get much of anything. Sunday turns out to be a nice day with scattered storms. Same thing through all of next week.